Hello everybody! So today I'm gonna make this adorable kitty pendants for the necklaces and that's the custom order that I've got recently and it will be shipped to Germany. So this is the same cat and I'm gonna make the full body with a chain going right here plus I'm gonna make the head which will be just a pendant by itself. So I laser cut these shapes myself with the laser cutter that I can access in the local library and uh, then I can make really customized uh, shapes. So I will start with acrylic paints and let's do it! This is the photo of the face that I'm gonna paint. So this is very small, only around like one and a half inch in height and this is the body. This is the body of the kitty. I'm very excited how that's gonna turn out. Okay, so these are very small surfaces, so that's not gonna, gonna take me too long. I start essentially. I start with painting like a base with the gray base that's the color I'm using mostly for this cat so I disregard at this point the facial features like the eyes mouth the nose that's something that I'm gonna add later on as the last step all right so this is my base so as you can see this is very simple, so that I use this layer as a background, and so on top of it, I'll start refining the facial features and the features of the fur. So this cat has a lot of stripes, so this is this type of breed that has all these kind of different stripes and spots that sometimes it's difficult to paint, especially for students in my cat painting classes. So I don't have to follow exactly um, every single stripe and the spot on the fur, but I wanna have an idea as to what kind of breed that is. So that is the main goal. So I will start locating approximately the position of the facial features. Now the nose is quite pronounced. All right. So I'll start defining the nose. It's a little bit of red and brown because the no nose is not quite red. I mean, it's like rather pink or some sort of mix between red and brown. And I'll start locating the nose, it will be somewhere in this area. So it's pretty much a primitive um, sketch right now. And I will also use pants at the end to define. So then I'm gonna locate the eyes and the eyeballs at first. So you see it looks very primitive, but that I need like as a base, so I like a guidance that I know where everything is gonna go. Because I don't do any pencil sketching, not for this size.
and get it a little bit in the tone so that is not quite gray it has a little bit of brown in it and a little bit of yellow so that's quite an interesting mix here so sometimes so that you don't have to detailize every single feature and stripe in the face so again I just cover at first my base so that the wood is not gonna peek through yes and then I start when it dries a little bit I start refining my details <laughs> 